Well, playing with the uh, particle effects in Dota, I kind of found a particle effect that I could make into like a, a lens flare effect that actually works in SFM, as you can see here. Uh, that's an actual particle effect that is actually running in the game and will uh, show up in render as well. So uh, I modified it to make it so it's a little easier to use. Uh, and so uh, being that it requires a little bit of knowledge of particles, I thought I'd make a video tutorial about this to make it a little easier to follow instead of just going by text. So I put uh, Rainbow in like a just an empty room here without doors and uh, threw in here with just a single light to show kind of how, uh, how this works. So uh, I currently have one that's already modified it's kind of the way that I'd, I'd want to have it in the room here. So I'm just going to remove this one. And what you're going to do is you're going to go in the animation set editor, right click and go to create animation set for new particle. And we're going to go up here to browse. And I right now have this lens flare.pcf. Uh, if you look in the description, there'll be a link to a um, DVNR, my DVNR page that has where you can download this. And once you put this into and merge it with your user mod folder, it'll put it, you'll have it here. So it'll be user mod particles and then right there. So we're going to open this file. And once it's open in this drop down, you're going to go to lens flare. That's the only one here that matters. And I want to make sure that this starts before time because it takes about a one second for it to want to fully start. So we're going to go to negative one. So it just starts before all of any time. And we're going to go in 60 60 so it just runs for a minute you can play with those numbers if you want we're going to go okay now we're going to get a lens flare and to see it you won't see it until you actually exit and wipe back in you'll notice it is absolutely enormous uh it's just the default size for it so i'm going to want to first position this so i'm going to take this move it over here and while i'm moving it you won't see until time changes so move time and now you see that it is now up in the ceiling just a All right, so obviously this is a little too big. So we're gonna first instance the particle here. So if you right click the particle and go to instance, this saves it to the actual shot in the uh, your save file, making this so any changes aren't affecting the original. Then we're gonna go to edit particle here and lens flare. All the others, sh unless you wanna play around with them, shouldn't need to be edited. And the within here, the only two things you have to worry about are these two right here, color random and radius random. Radius random changes the size and color random is going to change the color. Uh, it's been modified so all the other sub ch uh, the children here are edited at the same time by these two values. So if you go to radius random here, we're going to want to drop this size. So I'm going to scroll down here and you can see that it has radius max, max and radius min at 300. Let's drop those to something more manageable. So let's try 40. And 40. If you you usually want to keep them about the same. If they're very different, you're going to have a very flickering particle. And we'll move time. And now you can see that we have a much more uh, much smaller and better fit for this scene uh, lens flare. But as of right now, it's very white when the light itself is a little bit yellow. So let's play with the color here. So we're going to go to color random. At the very top, you're going to see these two white blocks. These are where you can choose your colors. So I'm just going to change it to something a little bit more yellow. Not too much. And change this one to yellow too. And just like with radius, if they're very different from each other, you know, some weird effects. You can play around with it. It's kind of neat. But uh, we're going to set accept. And you can see here, now it's, now it's actually a more manageable yellow, the color that we're looking for. Uh, the effect will, uh, will rotate with your camera. So that it will always still have that horizontal effect like you'd expect and it will disappear behind objects so if i go and go behind a rainbow here you'll notice that it dims disappears and then comes back when coming around the model um it's when up close like this it sometimes will have a little bit of a um a little bit of leftover glow but i think sometimes that actually works a little better for some certain parts but otherwise you might just play with it to make it work a little better um, but in the general, it seems to work pretty well. I do want to try to play around with this to maybe make it a little work a little better. But for now, um, I just wanted to get, make this uh, public so people can play around with it. So, uh, to kind of show some, uh, a little bit of an examples of, uh, ways that can be used, uh, is I have here just a little, uh, little rainbow card here. It just shows the, it, that same thing. Uh, the lens flare being used to create a blue light that goes over the, uh, the headlight here. And so it, it creates kind of a nice, nice cool effect. And again, uh, when you rotate the camera, it'll actually follow with it. Um, just, and this does work with suns too. So 
this is a very, very large particle effect um, at a distance with some extra lighting to, and again, I can rotate the camera and it will follow with it. Um, and to show a, more, a little bit more of a complex scene build with it, uh, this one's just showing just these two little lights have this extra little uh, glow to them. And I, it creates a nice, nice effect. The actual particle effect itself is not actually creating any light. So if you can see that as if I turn off all the lighting in here, um, there's no nothing. It's perfectly, everything else is just lit on its own. The particle's not making any light. So you have to still kind of light it yourself uh, to get the effects, but you can get some nice results and it does kind of create a nice effect. Just wouldn't go overboard with it. Um, you don't want to go uh, with uh, JJ Abrams or something. So, uh, but anyways, if you, in the description is the download for it um, and it should be fairly easy to, to modify. For those that do want to go um, a little bit further with it, there is a, uh, let me open it here. I did add in as well a, uh, a rainbow halo effect, which is, uh, I couldn't get it to time with it, so, um, but you can add it in at the beginning to kind of create a nice cool effect with it, um, but it's kind of be going to be situational. So that's added in there, you can play around with it, otherwise you can play around with all these effects if you want to, and uh, see what you can ma make up and match up and do whatever you want with it. Um, so I hope this helps, and uh, I hope to edit this over time to try to make it work maybe a little better, but at least in the meantime, it's better than having to uh, use post-processing effects, especially for those that don't have the software to do it. So this is kind of just an easy way to do it yourself. So, uh, yeah, so have fun, play with lens flares, and, like, yeah, <laughs> uh, have some fun with it.